reservation for six? I think I might be able to do that. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, that time is perfectly fine. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it, too. Bye-bye. Filled to capacity. All in office is ahead. Thank you. Hey, what's with this outfit? Where's your tux? I'm thinking of calling in sick tonight. Well, why? You look very well to me. Yeah, well, uh... Seeing you smooching with old man Buchanan the other night kind of turned my stomach. Oh. Tell you the truth, I'm not too keen on working here anymore. You can't quit, Ty. I need you. I... Is that so? Yes, I need you and I want you very much. What about A.C. Buchanan? That's a completely different story. Oh, is it? Come on, Zan, admit it. You actually like the old geezer, don't you? But just between you and me, I'm glad that God sent you. Well, now, what was that favor you were going to ask me? Okay, Todd, just what do you think you're doing with her? What's he telling you? Come on, what kind of lies are you laying on her? Anybody's lying, anybody. Don't do this to her, Todd, I mean it. Wait, wait, listen to me. He isn't doing anything, we're just talking. She's just a kid, she doesn't know what you really are. You don't know what I mean, I'm so just a back of I am not gonna let you mess with her, you hear me? There it is, Cassie. Uh, Cassie didn't even let me see it until yesterday. Mm -hmm. She did a great job. Yeah. It's really hard for me to believe that any of this is happening right now. I tell you, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know how Cassie's going to handle any of this. Well, she's forgiven Dorian a lot of things in the past. Maybe she can forgive her this. Oh, Dad, come on now. When she finds out how Dorian lied, when she finds out how she used Emily, and how one lie led to another lie, and on and on and on and on. Andrew, she's resilient. She'll bounce back. <sighs> I don't, you just can't count on that, Dad. I mean, you... <sighs> the pregnancy. Cassie, she's... She's just the kind of person, she hides it, she smiles, but it's been very tough on her the past few months. I... I don't, I don't even know how I'm going to tell her. Look at her, Marty, smiling, smug. I'm not gonna let her get away with this. Emily, don't start anything. She's the one who started it. I'm just gonna finish it. Okay, okay, you win. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Mother is Emily Haynes. Do you even know what your mother has done? Or I... do I have to be the one to tell you? Huh? Do you want me to tell you? This is Pal Lord the Third. And we go way back. Oh, and Pal, this is this is Rebecca Lewis. I know. You do. We met earlier today at the library. Yeah, and I can tell as plain as day that she is far too nice a person to be hanging around with someone like you. No, no, Pal. You see, Rebecca is the whole reason that I've changed. The Lord is the reason you've changed. She opened up my heart to the Lord. Don't believe him. I mean it, Rebecca. No one can change that much that fast. What are you doing over here? You're supposed to be in visitor's room C. I just now, I get want... Go see your own visitor or back to work. And now, never mind about him. What were you going to ask me about? 
Forget it. Pal's right. You shouldn't be talking to me. You shouldn't be anywhere near me. I'm no good. Now, we took Cassie's condition into consideration. I had Mrs. McNamara promise to keep the board from making public Dorian's involvement in this whole mess, Thank at least you. until you knew how to tell her. Thank you, Dad. Well, you. you're going to have to be prepared for the possibility that she's going to hear about it anyway. I mean, Lineview is not a big place. People talk. This was a public scandal. Right. I know. Hey, at least you're in the clear on all this. I just, yeah. I hated seeing you placed under that kind of, of a pressure. Yeah. Good news for me, terrible news for Cassie. You know, I was, uh, I was not happy when Dorian was suddenly welcomed back into this house. Cassie was overjoyed. I mean, I, I, I wanted to see the family whole again. I really did, especially after everything that kept us apart after all those years. And uh, I thought, hey, everything's going to be OK. All because of this little baby. Well, you know, that's a pretty heavy burden to place on a baby. Doesn't matter anymore now, does it? Nope, all those hopes of uh, peace and joy in this family got blown right out of the water by old Dorian. Maybe not. Maybe not. I guess he's going to find out what Dorian did sooner or later. But we can try to keep it quiet until after the baby's born. I mean, after all, as you said, Cassie has had this rough pregnancy. She's been warned. I know. I know. Stay away from undue stress. Like her mother. I think we better go, I Emily. I asked you a question. Look. Uh. You get away from this table. Haven't you already done enough? What? I mean it. You stay away from my daughter. Hey, I am not the Emily, one you who don't want to do this. Well, oh, don't I? No, you're coming with me. Let's go. I... You don't want to do this. Trust me. Marty, what are you doing with Emily Haynes? Don't worry, OK? It's, just, it's kind of complicated. I'll, I'll tell you later. I've just got to go check on Emily and make uh, sure she's OK. Honey, sit down. Mother! Sit, 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 sit down. Calm here. down. Calm down. Shh. Oh, my. Are you all right? Yes. OK, now, what's going on? Who, who knows what's going on when it comes to Marty? Save her. No, I truly, I have no idea. But Emily Haynes was furious. <sighs> Wouldn't you be if everybody had just found out that you were lying? But she asked me if I knew what you had done. Oh. Darling, do you really want to examine the deepest recesses of that airhead's cavernous brain? <laughs> Who knows what she was talking about? No, you are not getting off the hook. But I want to know the whole truth, and I want to know it now. It's so much fun making your own music, especially when it's with Mickey, Minnie, and Donald. It's the Disney Melody Lights Go Round. Just a baby's... Well, uh, sweetheart, I really uh, didn't want to involve you in all the sordid details. But I have been involved in everything, so why don't you just tell me what's going on? Well... In some uh, small way, I'm the one that is responsible for cracking the case, you know, about uh, Sloan and Emily. You? Yes. How? Oh, well, it's really nothing. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I was at the country club, right? And somebody pointed out Emily Haynes to me. And I I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. You couldn't help yourself what? Oh, I gave that awful liar a piece of my mind. Mother, you shouldn't have said anything. No, 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 no. Apparently, La Bimboleta was wavering about her 
story you know, about Sloan and her charges, and at any rate, after we had our little chat, apparently she just broke down and she confessed that she had fabricated the whole story. Oh, mother, that's wonderful. <laughs> but, but she was acting like, um, I don't know, like it was your fault or something. I mean, how hostile was this little chat? Oh, on a scale of one to ten, I'd give it an eleven. <laughs> she's, she's probably, you know, regretting that she recanted her story and she's lashing out at me. Oh, boy. You are just a bundle of surprises. No. You. Oh. <laughs> You're the bundle of surprises. So why don't you just call me a cranky little old grandma to be who just cannot keep her mouth shut? For once, you're being modest. And for once, you should be really proud of yourself. I don't know how Andrew and Sloan and I can ever thank you. It's very simple. <laughs> Don't you know that the only thing in the whole world that really matters to me is your love? That's terrible. You really ought to get a life. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello, sir. This is Buchanan. Oh, Nigel, what are you doing here? Bad news. What? Awful, really. What's happened now? Most distressing. What, Nigel? Mr. Buchanan's singing debut the other night at Early North. <laughs> yes, I was there, and it went um, amazingly well. Now, there's no accounting for taste, but alas, the news grows darker. Let me guess. There's standing room only between now and New Year's, and I can expect my business to be cut in half? Well, the crowds do continue, I'm afraid. I sought you out because it seems more than clear now that Mr. Buchanan has been corrupted by Miss Olinoff. <laughs> no, well, more so than usual, madam. Well, Nigel, exactly what do you expect me to do about poor Ace's moral decline? If you don't do something now and make him see the folly of his ways, I fear that the spider will descend upon the fly and there will be no hope left. No hope for what? Surely, madam, you don't want to see Mr. Buchanan with Miss Olinoff forever, do you? It was a friendly embrace. A, a victory hug. The opening of Olinoff's had been such a success that... That I you got right all carried away and you kissed Ace Buchanan like he was Tyrone Power or Tyrone Moody? Of course I kissed him, honey. It was... His singing, if you can call it that, had saved the day. And Asa and I have a bundle of money invested in this place. I kissed him as a sign of appreciation. That's all. <sighs> so, so if I get up on stage some night and I belt out some dumb old song, you'll appreciate me more? Oh, I don't think I could appreciate you any more than I already do. How can I get you to show me some of that appreciation? Well, I don't think I've ever discouraged ambition. Wiggling and walking and giggling and talking oh. makes, it, makes the... Oh. How's my favorite crooner since Frank Sinatra? Alex, really? You go too far sometimes. Frank can't hold a candle to me. <laughs> what a wonderful opening that was, huh? It was a smash, honey. In fact, it was such a success. I'm thinking of repeating my magnificent performance again tonight. The hell you are. What's the taste? Rebecca, you... You can't blame Powell for hating me. I mean, it's my fault he's even in this place. Your fault? How? Well, I told you that I raped someone. Actually, there were three of us. 
We all raped Marty Saybrook. He... he... I know. I, I know. It's hard to believe. I mean, he doesn't seem like the type. No, I just thought... I... It's very hard to imagine him committing any sort of violence. Well, not that... It's... Oh, please, you don't have to explain. It's all right. I... And you're right. He's not the type. He never would have hurt a fly if I hadn't led him down the path to sin. It's something that I regret every day. Wait, 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 hold on. We all have free choice. It's not your fault if he chose to sin. Oh, but it is. I pressured him. I, mean, I, I practically made him do it. I know he hates me. So you see, I... I can't blame him. No, but, but you've reformed. Remember, the Bible teaches us, hate the sin, but forgive the sinner. Powell should know that. How can you forgive me? A pal's right. You should just stay away from me. I'm nothing. I'm, I'm garbage. Look, no one is garbage. And God forgives even the greatest of sins. And do you? Well, I I'm not here to judge you. How can you help it? We're friends, Todd. If I judged you on your past deeds, would that be fair? After all, I owe you. What? You owe me? For what? It was you, really, who... who gave me back my faith. What are you talking about? I didn't know what to do or what to believe when I found out that... that Angela was... a total fake. But talking to you and working with you, I... I found what I had lost. I helped you? Yes. Thank you. I can't tell you how much that means to me. Oh, thank you, Todd. <laughs> now, <laughs> what were you going to ask me about? Forget it. I can't ask anything of you. You've already given me so much. Yeah, no, I won't forget it. What do you need? Just name it. Emily? Emily, you did the right thing. When? When I was like four and I didn't play with matches? No, when you were like 20 and you didn't play with fire. You were right not to get into it with Dorian. All I did was chicken out. Listen to me. You did the right thing. Trust me. You don't want to get between Dorian and Cassie. You know what they say about a bear and her cubs. Oh, I don't know. I just thought like her daughter deserves to know what she did. Well, maybe so, but Cassie is pregnant and she can't handle that right now. God, what mom she's got. Oh, no, I don't care, Marty. You're right. I just would have just... Screwed it up. Well, I guess I should start packing. Or they evict me from the dorm. Emily, they're not going to evict you. Yes, they are. It's a package deal. You get expelled, you get evicted. Try right, what I did to General Carpenter. Oh. Marty, I thought my junior year was going to be so cool, and I just... just wrecked everything. you got to stop thinking like that. Why not? It's true. Look, a year ago, I was doing some pretty messed up things. I was drinking, I was lying to everyone, I was hurting everyone, especially myself. That's true. I remember now, you really screwed up. So you see, I mean, I thought it was all over for me, but I pulled out of it. Two different people like you. Maybe now, but not then. Believe me, mm -hmm. not then. Emily, people are nicer than you think. Most of them will give you a second chance. Hey, you know what really burns me up? I'm the one whose name is gonna be Mud. I am the one who everybody's gonna blame, only I wasn't the only one. I mean, Dorian Lord should have to pay, too. Why is it that she gets off scot-free? <sighs> Hey, 
Andrew! Andrew, do you know? Have you heard about Sloan? Yes, he was just here, sweetheart. Then he told you how Mother got Emily to confess, to finally admit that those sexual harassment charges were lies, not to mention how brilliant Mother was. It's wonderful, oh. sweetheart. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, Sloan, uh, Sloan filled me in on, on Dorian's entire involvement. You know, I just think that you've decorated this room so beautifully. Oh, isn't it great? Sometimes I come in here just to sit because the light is so beautiful. And, mm, it's a wonderful room, isn't it? It's great. <laughs> Andrew, yes. if it's okay, Mother's invited me to take a little trip with her just so we could spend a few days together before the baby's born. What do you think? I think you ought to go upstairs and pack. Oh, I love you. <laughs> and I love this room. Mother, <laughs> mother, look at all your presents. <laughs> Just waiting for the baby to come. Just what do you think you're doing, Dorian? What? I heard everything. You actually expect me to let you take Cassie to who knows where so that you can fill her head with more of your lies? Andrew, please. Cassie, Cassie can't be told. I mean, she doesn't need Maybe that, that to. Maybe that's exactly what Cassie needs. Maybe the only thing that Cassie needs is to hear the truth. Maybe we should just go tell her exactly what you have done. So is my blistex. We should head east. Please, uh, General, let me have a few moments of your time, and then you can slam the door in my face. What would there be the fun in that? Come here. Thank you. I know you're furious with the way the board, especially with the way I handled this whole ugly little episode with Emily Haynes. Good read, Elizabeth. And I also understand that you're considering withdrawing from the presidency. Uh, not considering. I did it. It's, um, it's not that I think your point of view is unreasonable. It's just that I want you to know that now that the whole truth has been revealed, I'm determined to make amends. Uh, this is a preliminary report. I'm submitting it to the other board members immediately, but I, I wanted you to have a copy first. We have respected your wishes that none of this be made public without your approval. Thank you for that. Yes, well, if you would please read the whole report You'll see that you have been completely vindicated. Oh, I'll look at it later. And, and you, you'll also see that the dean, in his report, makes it undeniably clear that the person who bears full and complete responsibility is Dorian Lord. Andrew, whatever you may have heard about the events at Landfair this afternoon, I think that you would have to agree that uh, what you heard was one-sided and biased. What you did was so cruel, so unbelievably selfish. I had my reasons. Reasons. We all have reasons, Dorian. Reasons Andrew, do not give you the right your to destroy the house. Now are you going to say terrible. that this was my father's Shh. fault? Yes. Do he just pushed don't me to start. Shoes. Don't start Andrew, with me, Dorian. I am sick of your lies. I am sick Cassie, of your excuses. Please. You tortured don't. my father, Dorian. You tortured him, and you deliberately set out to destroy his life, didn't you? No. Don't stop. Don't he stop. Destroyed I swear my to God, life. I swear I could tear you apart limb from limb right now. Andrew. Now you stop lying. You stop lying. You caused this. You. 
You cannot play your games. You cannot play your games. You cannot destroy people's lives and expect, expect them not to get angry. Andrew, whatever you may uh, think of me now, I'm begging you. Please. Please, please, please. You cannot ever tell Cassie. Andrew. You cannot tell Cassie. Asa, your singing was a one-time event, and now it's over. No, my point exactly. See, it doesn't have to be. Asa, listen to me. I had lost my voice, so because I had laryngitis and couldn't get up on the stage and sing, you kept our prophets from walking out the door with this wonderful little gimmick that saved the whole evening. That was wonderful. Thank you. It's over. Oh, you're kidding, Alex. I got a whole new career ahead of me. Not here, you don't. Oh, no? I own this place. I own half this place. Then I'll sing in my half. No, Asa, you won't. What is with you? I bring down the house on my maiden voyage. I can even do better tonight. So please step aside while I warm up my pipes. Do I have to be brutally frank? What the hell have you been doing? This place only has room for one entertaining singing owner, and that is me. Olenov, my name is on the door. See? When it comes to entertaining the people, you need to be a silent partner. That a girl, you tell them, Zan. <laughs> I'm gonna go put on my tux for tonight. <laughs> you know, I thought you were a shrewd businesswoman. Best you've ever seen. So how come you can't see what's in front of your eyes? Oh, please, please, spare me the crocodile tears. What, what is it? This is my dream, Asa. This is my vision. And you come along and, and, and plunk down your flag right in the middle of it. Why shouldn't I be upset? All right. If it means that much to you, you can sing. You mean it? Really? You know, every time I think, you always end up doing the right thing, don't you? You are the sweetest, most smartest, most wonderful man I've ever met. How can I ever forget one of my special customers, little Michael? Every week he'd come in. Please. Please, Todd, I want to help. No, you, you've already done more than enough. There's no such thing as enough. I'm not leaving here until you tell me what you need. All right. Well, I heard from some guard friends of mine. I heard that if... Someone on the outside writes to the warden on the prisoner's behalf that that prisoner may get a better work detail. Really? Well, that's what I heard. So, if I wrote to the prison, then maybe I could get you out of that horrible kitchen? Yeah. Maybe even get me out in some fresh air. No, but, but I, you know, I, I wouldn't want you to do anything that wasn't your idea in the first place. I mean, people would think that I was... I'm glad you told me this. I want to write the warden. You do? I'll do it today. Really? Really. That's great. Thanks so much. Time's up, man. Oh, hey, I I'm, I I'm sorry. I had no idea that it had gotten. <laughs> Thank you so much, really. Thank you. Stop it. I haven't done anything. Well, yet. no, no. I mean, just the idea that, that you would do something like that. I'll see you very soon. Listen, Rebecca, before you leave, I need to tell you one thing. You've got to stay away from Todd. I'm sorry, I have to go. He may seem like a nice guy, but you can't imagine the kind of person he really is. He's cruel and violent. No, you don't know him. He's not like that anymore. 
He's not the same kind of man who... D who did what he did. Do you even know what he did? Yes. He told me all about it. And how he dragged you into his crimes. He's very sad that he led you astray. But he's changed. He's found the Lord. And the Lord has given him strength and a new hope. I, I don't mean to insult you, but aren't you being a little too trusting here? I don't think so. Listen to me. Todd can be charming when he wants to, and he can lie like a rug, but that doesn't mean he's been saved. If you don't believe me, then go talk to Marty Saybrook and see what she has to say about Todd Manning. Okay, I'll, um, I'll head over to Rhodes later and we can figure out something, okay? All right, bye. Suede, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I've met him a couple of times. He is so cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Todd, huh? Yeah. Didn't catch me turning down a date with him. I wasn't turning down a date. I just thought maybe we could do something else. Mm, I couldn't do that either. I couldn't even... <laughs> uh, you're not like that. You don't know. What do you mean I don't know? Want a soda? Emily! What? What do you mean I don't know? Nothing! I just... I wasn't putting you down or anything. I just mean, you know, I just... I can tell you're not... afraid. I'm not? I, I just mean, you, you can tell guys you don't like this, you don't like that. They just keep coming back for more. Me, they just shrug and walk away. <laughs> You're afraid a guy won't like you if you speak up? Guys, people, my parents, you name it. <laughs> That's the way it was with Claudia, um, Dorian Lord. It was like that with her, too. I just, I just wanted her to like me so bad. But you, you have got it made. You've got everything. Let me tell you something. When my parents died, I was seven years old. I didn't have anybody. Well, except, of course, my Aunt Kiki. She could possibly have loved me less, but I doubt it. <laughs> um, what I'm trying to say is I grew up thinking like you did, that if I could, you know, please this person or please that person, and I know they'd like me. <laughs> but it never worked. So mm. I decided, well, wait a minute, this is my life. And if, if a person wants to like me for me, if a person wants to share, fine. If not, then buzz off. Well, <laughs> is that the way it is with you and Swade, when you share? Yeah, we, we do a lot together. Mm. He is so great. <laughs> In bed? About that walk, Emily, uh, you still want to go? Sure. <clears throat> Good, well, I just have to make one more phone call, okay? Right. I'm going to go fix my makeup. I look very scary. Hey, hi, it's Marty. Hi, I'm so glad you called. Yeah, I, you know, I just wanted to see if things were okay after what happened at lunch. I'm, I am sorry if I seem rude. No, no, not at all. Everything's fine. Yeah, it, it's okay? My mother explained everything to me. She did? Yeah. Once she told me, and I understood that she was the one who forced Emily to come clean. I understood why Emily was so off the wall today. You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, my mother's been going through a really rough time lately. Yeah, I, I guess. In fact, um, we're gonna go away for a couple of days, just the two of us. Oh, huh. just you and Mom, huh? Um, when are you going? Well, you know my mother, just as soon as I can pack. But first, I want to run over to Sloan's and tell myself how happy I am this whole nightmare is over. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Oh. Okay, what? 
I agree, I agree. I... Given how difficult the pregnancy has been, I agree that we shouldn't tell Cassie what you did. Oh, Andrew. Yet, thank yet, you. yet. But I assure you that she will be told. I'm going to make sure that she is told in the right way at the right time. Is that clear? But, um, if you were to tell her not to, uh, you go on this trip with me suddenly, you know, it, she would uh, start to suspect things because my daughter's no fool, you know. I know that, Dorian. I know. Besides which, is it too much to ask for that I be allowed to have a few final will quiet you just, will days you just with ease, my daughter? Will you ease back on your melodrama a little bit here, Dorian? Is it? Hmm? Fine, you, you swear to me, you swear to me that you will not mention to her what happened today, swear. <sighs> On my honor. Right. You listen to me, I don't want you mangling this story any more than you already have. I don't want you digging into your lies anymore, because if you do, Dorian, Dorian, Yes. You might bump up against the truth, and that would destroy Cassie. Do you, do you even understand this? I, I, I only want to spend Just don't, time. don't try. Don't even try. Take a couple of days and remember, remember that Cassie is going to hear the truth. No, Andrew, Remember, she, she will hear the truth when I know that the truth won't hurt her or this baby. Dorian, <clears throat> after today, I don't want you in this house ever again. No, Andrew, you can't. Oh, yes, I Not can. You bet I can. Take my baby away from me. Mm -mm. Not Sloan, not Queen Victoria. Mm. Not even Andrew. And nobody will ever take my little girl away from me. Not ever again. Andrew, darling. Gone to congratulate Sloan in person. We'll be right back. It's not only tough to make a dime. Students in Helen's establishment can succeed in an area where parking is so hard to come by. Adam, are we all right? I think not, Nigel. May I inquire as to what's happened? You're so upset. Nigel, I think that old fool... That would be Mr. Buchanan. ...and Alex are much closer than I thought. How much closer? They seem very... happy together. And that bothers you, doesn't it, madam? Nigel, I don't want... I can't really talk about this now. I, I have to go back to the restaurant. Well, I've got to go. Until this evening, then. You will wow them, honey. You have no idea. I can't wait. <laughs> what happened? I mean, when I left, you were laying down the law, and when I get back, you're practically, you know, giving it... Uh, no, no, I convinced him. He thanked me. Mission accomplished. Relax. Well, he, he agreed? You saying yes. not him? Sometimes he is such a pussycat. Mm. <laughs> You're here, good. Of course I'm here, sir. We are coming back here a little early tonight. Is there a problem, sir? You seem to be thinking. 
When I told that egomaniac... Miss Eleanor. When I told her I was going to sing tonight, she went completely hysterical. Yeah. So to shut her up, I told her I was giving up on the idea. But you aren't, are you, <laughs> sir? Of course not, Nigel. I just got to figure out how to keep that two-bit torch singer out of my way. Cassie, darling, where are you? Packing, I hope. Andrew, darling, gone to congratulate Sloane in person. We'll be right back. Cassie. Sloane's. Sloane's. Ah, can't see. Sloane, I just heard, and I am so happy for you. Oh, my good tell. <laughs> mother told me everything. You must be so relieved. Yes, I am. Your mother told you uh, everything? Do I smell something burning? Oh, I'll be uh, right back. Make yourself comfortable. Okay. I think I will. <laughs> Sexual harassment complaint. Sloan Carpenter. Case closed. Yes. As of the above date, the investigation into allegations of sexual misconduct brought against Sloan Carpenter by Landview University has been concluded due to several unexpected developments. Introducing Corning Lifestyles, 